Hi there, this is Nicole Spore, and I am thrilled to be guest designing here for My Favorite Things today with a spotlight die cut greeting. This is a really fun and easy technique where you spotlight part of the background. In this case, the die cut greeting is oversized from whatever you have going on in the background. So I'm gonna take a little white pigment ink first and apply it to some grout gray cardstock using the Drifts and Hills stencil. This is probably one of my most used stencils ever. I absolutely adore this one. Um, it just makes creating landscapes fantastic, especially for this card, a winter scene. You can change it to green for a spring and summer type grass, all kinds of great things. Next, after I have inked up that bottom portion of my panel with a white pigment ink, I am gonna die cut the word piece from this. But before I pop out the letters, I wanna keep them there just for a second so I can stamp anything else that I need to either stamp or ink. In fact, I went back over it with a little bit more white pigment ink. So anything you wanna do there, go ahead and do that while it's still flat. I'll be using two of the adorable little owl images from You Make My Heart Melt. One is gonna be kind of leaning up against the letter P in the word piece, and the other one is gonna be tipped or balancing up there on top of the letter E. Now while this is still flat, I have used the kind of ice skating scripty heart image from You Make My Heart Melt, and I've stamped that with some Versamark ink and I'm sprinkling on some gold embossing powder. Before I stamped this, I did make sure and take my heat tool and dry the white pigment ink so the embossing powder would not stick to it. You wanna stamp anything over whatever's gonna be spotlighted before you actually pop it up. In this case, Anything on the background is going to be flat. Anything that is in the little center cutout pieces of the letter P or the letter A is going to be flat, but the letters themselves are gonna be popped up or spotlighted to really stand out and take a focal point of this card design. In addition to the gold embossed ice skating swirl there through the greeting, I decided to take two of the, the two snowflake images from You Make My Heart Melt and stamp those throughout the design using Versamark ink and heat embossing again with some gold embossing powder. This card has a more elegant feel even though it features the two kind of whim whimsical and very cute owls from the stamp set. I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock now, fold it in half for a side fold card base. I have adhered a piece of gold glitter cardstock along the bottom edge, and then my background to the top portion of the card. And I've die cut additional piece greetings from white cardstock. This can just be you scraps of cardstock laying around, and I'm stacking them one on top of another. So you inlay the first greeting and inlay the grout gray pieces inside the, the letter P and A. Then you want to ad adhere the next layers right on top, and I'm using a little Ranger, Ranger multi matte medium to do this and I'm putting something heavy after each addition. There are three layers of white cardstock letters. The first layer's inlaid, two more layers of white cardstock, and then finishing with the stamped and die cut pieces from the original background. It gives a seamless flow of the inked, the stenciled background there, and the stamped design that goes through the greeting. Again, I like to finish by putting a heavy acrylic block on top and letting it sit there until the glue completely dries. This helps compress the letters and keeps them nice and flat. And that way I don't have to worry that they shift or anything like that. I have a little thin piece of white cardstock here that I think will help divide the top portion of the card from that bottom glittery portion really nicely. 
And my paper just seems to be a little bit longer than my card base. I probably didn't cut my card base quite to size. So I'm gonna trim that up, keep it nice and neat. I'm using these, I think they're a nine and a half inch uh, shear from Tim Holtz from Tonic Studio. And then I'm gonna round all four corners of my card with a half inch corner rounder. That softens the design a little bit. I like those rounded corners. Now I'm ready to add my embellishments. So I've stamped the two owls from You Make My Heart Melt on some cardstock for Copic coloring using the black hybrid ink from My Favorite Things. This is a great ink for Copic coloring. I am coloring in my owls with the Copic marker numbers shown across the bottom of the screen. E40, 43, 44, and 47 for the owls with YR24 for the beaks and R24, 46, and 39 for the scarfs and the ice skates. Pretty simple coloring. Both are gonna be colored exactly the same. The only difference is how I decorate the scarfs. For the first owl, I went ahead and took a white pen and drew some little white lines. So it's a red and white striped scarf. Added a little dotted detail with my Copic markers to the owls themselves. It gives them a little bit of texture. For the second owl, he's gonna be colored exactly the same, but instead of doing stripes, I'm going to go ahead and make polka dots with my white pen. Gives them a little bit more interest. I love adding detail to accessories like this. I think scarves are especially fun. Adds a little personalization to the images. Again, just coloring in the owls with the same color that I used for the first ones. Really quick coloring here. Once I have the images completely colored and I've added all the additional stripes or polka dot detail, I'm gonna die cut these images with the coordinating You Make My Heart Melt dies. Here's those little polka dots. I like to use a little post-it tape to hold the dies in place while I run them through the die cutting machine. After I've spent all that time cutting or coloring, I don't want um, them to shift as I run them through. Then I'm gonna simply kind of lay them out, make sure that I like how they look. Now the owl that's next to the letter P, because the letter P is spotlighted and popped up, we're going to need to adhere the owl with a little foam adhesive so that it is on the same layer as the greeting. And to do this, I did add a little black glaze pin to the eyes on both owls. For the owl on top of the letter E, I'm simply going to adhere this one directly to the card base using some glue dots. So it looks like it's standing on top of the letter E. I'll add one glue dot to the right side of the owl that overlaps the letter P, and then a little foam adhesive square to the left side. And that's gonna make that owl popped up just a little bit so it lays flat and it looks perfect with the rest of the background. Now I'm ready to add just a few finishing details. I'm gonna use some pale gold and simply white Nouveau crystal drops. The pale gold is going to adorn the middle of the snowflakes, plus I'll add a few additional little drops here and there throughout the design. The simply white drops are gonna to add to that snowy feel, and I'll add a few of those throughout the design as well. These are fantastic for creating enamel dots in whatever size you need them to be. I always have a tendency to run out of the smallest ones, so it's fantastic to be able to create as many of those as I need. Finally, I'm going to stamp a sentiment from the You Make My Heart Melt stamp set. I'm gonna stamp it on some smooth white cardstock using Versamark ink and heat emboss with gold 
embossing powder and trim this into a thin strip that I can adhere underneath the die cut spotlight greeting. At first I thought I'd lay it flat on the card, but I decided to just put a little foam adhesive under the bottom half of this greeting and have it slightly overlap the greeting and the rest of it is popped up with that foam adhesive. I'll let the Nouveau Crystal Drops completely dry. They will be hardened after 24 hours and this card featuring a spotlight, spotlight die cut greeting is all finished. Thanks for joining me today for this spotlight die cut greeting featuring my favorite things, stamps and dies. Here are a couple more videos you might be interested in. Please subscribe to the My Favorite Things channel. Thanks for watching.